come one, come all. This is the hot new meta build that I copied from some really high MMR players in Europe. It hasn't hit competitive yet. I'm pretty sure it's going to. In a 26 minute game, I had 377 CS and 820 GPM. So I don't know if that's even possible on most heroes. GG. Banana slam jam. Full disclaimer, you need to have an actual support player on your team who is willing to stack, and then this build is unstoppable. If you don't have that, it's much less powerful, and you're going to see exactly here what's going to happen. So with Gyro, you start with Rocket, and you use that level 1 Rocket to get some good damage in with similar items to this, the Quelling Blade for the last hit damage, and then just some stat items such as the Slipper of Agility, just for the damage. All of your items are meant to give you tankiness and damage for Flat Cannon. You don't waste money on Wand or Wraith Band because for their cost, these items do not give you Flat Cannon damage. So what happens is your support is going to slain like normal for the first two minutes, okay? Once you get level three, everything changes. And we're going to learn the power of a lane that can just push out the lane and then ignore the opponent. So you just spam Flack off cooldown. Super low skill shit isn't hard to do. The only thing you got to practice is CSing with really low damage on Gyro. So right after you start with these items, you spam out the flak. Notice what we're doing. We just keep pushing the lane. Bonus if you can make use of the big camp like Coddle's doing here because it allows you to continuously threaten the pulls. And notice how the axe and hoodwink are actually not messing with me very much just because they're getting pelted by flak. Flak is effectively... 180 physical damage AOE on anything you're hitting. So every time you send a rocket out, it's a free secure of the range creep, makes the other guy leave, and you're just rinse and repeating. And by pushing in the lane like this, it allows your support to continuously pull. Thus, if you continuously pull on the support, it allows the core to get free experience, solo experience. Look at how the Coddle's already left lane now that I'm level 3. And I'm only going for items that give me the damage on my flak. So we're going to go immediately for treads. No laning items. You don't need them. Your hero's plenty strong enough. Coddle's a nice little bonus because he gives us extra mana. So we can spam more rockets than we normally do. And it's just rinse and repeat. There's a lot of kill off lanes right now. There's a lot of off lanes that are looking to ruin your day. But they simply can't if you just keep pelting them with flak cannon. Because even though they're trying to do damage to me, there's such a low duration of time that they can actually hit hit me because there's just creeps running at them and then my coddle is constantly pulling giving me a salve or two it's a bonus if your support does that feel free to fly yourself some extra regen if you absolutely have to and you just go stats now that's the secret to this build guys you know what doesn't help you farm points and rocket you know what doesn't help you farm points and rocket barrage you know what makes your flat cannon do two extra damage every single time you level it on every single attack stats so what are we going to do? We're going to play Medusa for the first 20 minutes of the game. But the beauty of it is, is that Gyrocopter expends virtually no mana. High ground wards are a bonus because flat cannon requires vision. So high ground wards are a bonus so you can clear both camps at the same time. And you're just going to spam flat cannon and your support is just going to leave stacking as many camps as he can. Notice how you just pull the big camp in. You kill it really easily. Five minutes in, level five, we're killing big camps. We have triple stack in two different camps. What other hero in the game can farm triple stacks at five minutes into the game on two different camps at once? Medusa can't do that. Her split shot only hits five creeps at one time. So we're going to get ourselves a stack super early on in the game. This is crucial. It accelerates your timings really fast. And we're going to queue up the next item that gives us stats and damage, which is the Dragon Lance. So the beauty of Gyro is that he usually struggles to early game ganks. What's so awesome about this build is you spend so little time in lane because you're just spamming flat cannon, and then you also are getting stats, so you're extra tanky, which Gyro usually struggles with. The Dragon Lance, I took a point in my ult here because I thought we might go on a kill for Axe, but usually I don't even go for ult until level 14, people. I just go max stats. You stop leveling stats when you have to, okay? Because there's no more points to put in there. And look at what I'm doing. No interaction with the opponent. Just keep pushing the lane. Max agility items. None of this wand, wraith band bullcrap. Keep pushing in the lane. Interact with the guy. He wants to mess with me. They want to gank me. You see them coming bottom. They want to gank you, but you're like, okay, we're going to flat cannon both these camps at the same time. 
We're just going to keep farming these stacks that our coddle has so graciously given to us. And we have 97 CS at 9 minutes into the game. And we stack another camp for ourselves. High ground wards are a bonus, people. And guess what? If you don't have high ground wards, we have a plan or a surprise in store for you later. Walk from lane to lane, clearing all the camps. The crucial part is we don't hit heroes. We hit them with flat cannon while we're also hitting creeps. So we see heroes mid, we didn't really feel safe going bottom there, so we're totally willing to show up potentially, but now the camps are back people, back to farming some camps, no reason to interact with heroes here. The beauty of Dragonlance is that not only is it a ton of stats, it's nice with your flat cannon because it increases your original range, but it also can be disassembled into ags. So the disassembling factor makes it so you're paying effectively 900 gold for 16 agility, and 12 strength, which is so tanky at this stage in the game. Possess Mask is definitely the best neutral item, but any neutral item that gives you damage on Flat Cannon is the dream. Broom Handle, Ironwood Trees next, any stat item that gives you damage on your Flat Cannon. Now, I skipped over it, but this is the kicker. If you don't have a high ground ward, you can use your Courier to provide vision, and feel free to use it as much as you so choose of camps on the high ground, which will allow your flak to aggro them and get you a little bit of extra efficiency. It's even better at nighttime, and it's especially if your supports are not giving you those high ground wards. Practice it. It's like a little extra micro machine that you're using in order to accelerate your farm. Back and forth we go. The beauty of this is, yes, Coddle is giving me mana, and all that's allowing me to do is send out more rockets of people. I'm not actually using mana to farm. This is 50 mana every 18 seconds. I basically have mana regen. I don't think I've ever flown myself a clarity, maybe one, and you just casually show up to fights. Why? Because all of the camps on the map are literally dead at 11 minutes in the game. You farm so fast, you can clear all the camps. I have 158 CS, and if you watch the opponent's perspective, all I did was show up in lane and flat cannon and leave. What are they supposed to do about it? The difference between these Lunas and Medusas with this wave clear ability is that Gyro can do it from level 3. So he can make the opponent back off. Level 3. Send a rocket at him, shoot some flat cannon out, and you say, boom. Luna, she needs like level 5, level 6. Couple point in Glaives, couple points in Aura. Medusa needs like 3 or 4 points in her snake to do the same thing. Gyro starts off, starts off being independent so early and you can have as early i've had a 12 to 13 minute ags almost every single game if you have a really good time you go straight for the s and y right after why because that dragon lance that you built that you disassembled into your ags also builds into a yasha look how early we're able to invade and take the opponent's stacks this is an extra bonus if your team can pull this one off but we don't even have to do that so the build just to run it down for you is once you get to the 20 or three or four minute mark assuming all things have gone well doesn't matter if they haven't you can have delayed timings you don't need to have this fast of timings in your bracket whatever that may be but you will go for the s and y into satanic so the beauty of satanic is even if you get stunned if you push satanic your side gunner will life steal and you will never die i repeat you will not die so once you get satanic you farm the entire map you then walk down a lane and push the enemy high ground because you simply cannot die. If you feel like you can die because maybe your timings are a bit more delayed, the next item that's absolutely crucial because all we need is more damage, more lifesteal, is the Daedalus. No, it doesn't proc the crits on your flat cannon, but your side gunner as well as your normal attacks proc the crits. I know this game looks like a complete stomp, but every game I've played Gyro with an actual support, I'm level 12 with a bajillion CS and a 12 minute AGS every single game. So if I highly encourage you guys to try this build out before you see it too much in pro matches. And also, make sure you do it knowing that you're going to get actually supported. Otherwise, your timings are heavily delayed and Gyro will struggle as a squishy hero. And if he falls off because he's squishy, if you die a couple times, that kind of spirals out of control. Thanks for watching, guys. Hot new meta build by BSJ. And you can wrap up this build with like an MKB, a Rapier, a BKB if you absolutely need it. I've tried Mask of Madness instead of Dragonlance, but what I love about the Dragonlance is that it only delays your Ags by 900 gold. And it's also more damage for your Flat Cannon, which is really the only way you farm at 16 damage compared to the 10 damage of Mask of Madness. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you later, nerds. Thank me later for the MMR. Just maybe party queue a duo queue with your support player friends. Bye-bye. <laughs>